I have already covered many of the Japanese exclusives for my childhood console, the Sega Master System. Today we are moving on to its successor, the Sega Mega Drive. Hello and welcome to another installment of Retro Recollections. Over the course of pursuing this adventure of delving into my gaming past and filling in the blanks with systems and games I did not get an opportunity to experience the first time around, I have developed a real affinity for the Japanese games market. It's something about the way the Japanese market doesn't need to conform to Western sensibilities and the sheer attention to detail they put into everything including the wonderful game artwork. Despite having relatively poor success in Japan in comparison to the SNES and even the PC Engine, the Mega Drive has a healthy amount of exclusive titles for the region. Quite a few are games based on local properties and require knowledge of Japanese, but there are also many that are very capably played, including arcade ports and other titles that may have seen a release on other systems but remained firmly Japanese only when it came to the Mega Drive. So, let's look at some titles in this video, which will likely be part one of a larger series, as there are quite a few I would like to cover. Wani Wani World is a platform game based on the arcade game The Berlin Wall, which itself is based on an even older game called Space Panic. The aim of the game is pretty straightforward and can be played as two player if you have a friend to hand. You control a little dinosaur, either Charlie or Smiley depending on the player, and you carry a very large hammer. The aim of the game is to climb up and down the platform, bash holes in it to snare an enemy, then bash them on the head. If successful, the enemy falls and turns into various foodstuffs and even coins. As you play through the levels, extra features appear such as teleportation pads and moving platforms to keep things interesting. I'm really enjoying this one, just enough wackiness to keep you engaged with the game. What is more Japanese than sumo wrestling? Ah, Harimanada is based on a manga and anime of the same name. So I should point out that it isn't exactly traditional sumo wrestling. In the real game, the aim is to get your opponent out of the ring. Here you're treated to more of an arcadey style of gameplay.
you can throw, grab, and there are even some limited special moves that I'm yet to discover. You can even slap your opponent silly. Not quite as fast as E-Honda on Street Fighter 2, but you get the idea. Panorama Cotton is what you get when you cross an anime fantasy world of witches with Space Harrier. It plays just like the classic Sega game in many ways. You scroll along a pseudo 3D world shooting enemies. The Fairy Kingdom has long been threatened by the Dark Witch Wall, the leader of the Dark Undulation. Queen Velvet sent her cute little fairy silk to seek aid by the red-haired witch Cotton, the only one who could defeat Wall. Cotton agrees under one condition. She will receive some willows as a reward, since willows are her favourite food. Finally, after defeating Wall, Cotton realises that someone poisoned the promised willows, and swears revenge. Accompanied by Silk, she begins to chase the mysterious enemy. I'll admit I'm not very good at this type of shooter. I struggle to see what's happening, and get frustrated, but I'm enjoying playing this more than I thought I would. The art style is very appealing, the music and sound effects are great too. Cotton's exclamations certainly are less annoying when she's hit than the scream in Space Harrier, that's for sure. If you're a geek, but not necessarily into manga or anime, you probably still have a passing familiarity with the Sailor Moon brand, a favourite in cosplay circles. Bishujo Sensei Sailor Moon is based on the popular franchise. It's a large, sprited, scrolling beat-em-up that immediately is reminiscent of games such as Streets of Rage, albeit with teenage schoolgirls instead of muscular brawlers. You can play as Usagi, or one of her friends, each has different abilities and advantages. 14-year-old Usagi, or Serena in westernized versions, is the main character of the franchise. One day she encounters a magical talking cat named Luna, who tells her she has been chosen to be a Sailor Moon fighter, to find the lost princess of the Moon Kingdom, and to fight the forces of darkness led by the evil Queen Beryl.
Okay, with Battle Mania Daijinjo, I have cheated a little, as it was also released in Korea. But it's such a good game, so you'll have to forgive me. This Asian exclusive is the sequel to Battle Mania, known as Troubleshooter in the West. This is a comic book or anime styled scrolling shooter that's a lot of fun. You control the troubleshooters, Mania Otori and Maria Haneda, simultaneously and there are some nice in-game options such as switching button controls, the amount of directions you can fire and the difficulty level, some beautiful enemy sprites, a great soundtrack and kinetic action. The power-ups offer some nice upgrades and unusually for a shooter, health meter replenishment. I do think that I need to set the difficulty level to easy though. I'm really fond of puzzle games such as Tetris and Columns. Mega Panel is a nice little game in a similar vein. A series of coloured blocks rise up and you need to slide them around in the hopes of matching up three of the same colour. When you do, they are cleared from the screen. The game offers three modes of play. The training mode is to get you used to how things work and you're only required to clear a certain amount of blocks to progress. Pin-up mode reveals part of a picture when you clear blocks, usually a cute anime girl and her pet, and the round is completed once the picture is revealed. There is also a one-on-one -on -one to player mode where you can play against a friend.
That does it for this video. Look out for part 2 in the future as there are many more great Japanese games I want to explore. I'm looking for suggestions. What Japanese exclusives are essential playing? Let me know in the comments. Why not give this video a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel as not to miss any future installments. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.